Answer then, Henry? No. How long does it take to select a big, exciting pet that doesn't cost much and doesn't need too much attention? No wonder it's taken so long. You really want the moon on a stick. No. I want a pet. Having any kind of pet is a big responsibility, Henry. You know, I'm not even sure you'd look after a pet properly. I, I would look after it. I would. I would. Fine. But just look at all the things you need to keep a pet healthy and happy. It's a lot more work and expense than you think, Henry. It is? I thought you just played ball with them and stuff. I didn't know you had to send them to college. <laughs> it's not quite that bad, Henry. But even the humble guinea pig takes looking after. You have to buy a cage, food, water bowls. And they don't eat just anything, either. Give a pet the wrong food, and you could make it real sick. Ugh, I get the idea. But goldfish must be easy to keep. Yes but even they have special requirements. Feed them too much and they can die. Wimps, you could never feed me too much. I'm aware of that, Henry. But it's not just food you have to worry about. Pets can get lonely, too. I thought the idea was they were company for us. Yeah, but you can't talk to them. Not in their own language, anyway. Sure I can. Tweet! What? <laughs> I think you probably just said something nasty about their mother. <laughs> Must have got lost in the translation. The main thing is to give lots and lots of love and affection. Ah, uh, with those guys? I think I could do that. I'm sure you could. You see, the more time you spend with your pets, the happier and healthier they'll be. These guys must be pretty happy. They get petted 24 hours a day. Talk about a dog's life. They may not make the world go round, but there are enough of them to go round the world. In second place is the cat. They're related to the big cats, but they're a lot easier to house train. But the winner of the Golden Gecko Award for the most amazing animal pet is... The Great Dane, the tallest dog in the world. Despite its name, the Great Dane has nothing to do with Denmark. In fact, it first came from Germany about 400 years ago and was probably a cross between a Mastiff and a Wolfhound. Now there's a set of in-laws you wouldn't want to annoy. Great Danes are so big that they prefer to dine at a table. It's too far down for them to eat from a bowl on the floor. Um, could someone get him a napkin, please? Wow, that's either a very big dog or a very small sofa. You were right the first time. Say, did you know the largest Great Dane on record was almost three and a half feet high at the shoulder? And when it stood on its hind legs, it was as tall as a professional basketball player. If you think about it, they've got more in common with horses than dogs. Phew, amazing. I know. But even though they're so big, they're one of the gentlest dogs around. Maybe I should get one then. 
Henry, you'd have to stand on a box just to reach its knees. And they eat more in one meal than you eat in a week. And considering your pizza consumption, that's a lot of food. Okay, okay. Hey, don't breathe on the lens. Henry, where are you? Henry, what were you doing on that pony? Well, if I'm going to be spending all that time taking care of a pet, I may as well get one that'll earn its keep. Well, it can be a good idea. Many animals do work for their owners, but... But nothing! Right, Pooch? That's not just any Pooch, Henry. That sheepdog can round up more than a hundred sheep at a time. Yeah? But can he do this? Ugh. The real point is, you don't have any sheep. So? So you've got no work for a sheepdog to do. Sure I have. They don't do housework, Henry. Oh. Oh, what's that noise, Henry? It sounds like... Oops. No sheep, eh? Last time I listened to you. Bad luck, Henry. <laughs> The sheepdog is one of the hardest working animals in the world. They round up sheep all day, come rain or shine. Hmm, well, this guy isn't working so hard. Nope, that's Scruffy. He's new, and today he's watching and learning. They have to go to school, too? Boy, it sure is a dog's life for a pet. They're not pets, Henry. They're working animals. There's no time to relax when there's a farm to run. You gotta be quick when there's that many sheep to round up. Typical. She spends her time whistling while the dogs do the hard work. Henry, she is working. Those whistles tell the dogs which way to go next. And they understand? Amazing! And in they go. Those are two smart doggies. I hope you were paying attention, Scruffy. I'm sure he was. After all, he wants to be a sheepdog too one day. Wait a minute! They missed a couple! Oh, no! All right, now's your chance! Show them what you learned, boy! Those sheep think they've escaped! <laughs> Just wait till Scruffy finds them! And here he comes! Yeah! And it's Lemsy and Minsauce neck and neck! But Scruffy's coming up fast! Scruffy too! Sheep nothing! Scruffy the winner! I hope she's gonna thank him. He just saved her sheep! Patience, Henry. She is. Hmm. Maybe Scruffy gets to graduate from sheepdog school now. Huh? They got Scruffy hauling timber? That's not Scruffy! Nope, that's an elephant. Duh! Some elephants work hard for a living too, you know. Excuse me, elephants work? I thought you just ate peanuts and flew around with their ears and stuff. No. In Asia, they're used to lift and pull really heavy loads, especially on steep mountainsides where modern bulldozers and tractors can't operate. Hmm, now that guy could be useful. He could carry all my groceries home from the store. Oh, Henry. Hey, I was watching that. Henry? Will you tell this guy to stop hogging the remote control? You never learn, do you? You can't keep an elephant as a pet. Mm, you're telling me. So is that what the pet service selected as your ideal pet? Nah, I was just trying it out. I'm bored waiting for the answer. You're still waiting? Yeah, feels like forever. It is a big decision, Henry. Hey, here it comes. Well, well, come on. Excuse me? <laughs> a cactus? Ah, uh, never mind, Henry. At least you won't have to work too hard taking care of it. True. My new best friend. Just goes to show, Henry. The world is full of amazing animal pets. You just have to find the one that suits you best, even if it is a plant. <laughs>